Hello friends, Coach Bob with you today, and today, man, the dogs just started going crazy. And you know what that means? That means one of two things. My dogs are crazy, or <laughs> something's been delivered. And yes, something has been delivered. <laughs> I know what you're saying. Why is that rain suit hanging there? It's drying out. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm sure you've never experienced any of that rain stuff, have you? But anyway, just got in here and check this out. Revzilla box. That's always exciting news. Anyway, so what we're going to do, we're going to bring that box in here. We're going to open some stuff up and have a little fun and see what we got. All right, well, let's see what those wonderful folks from Revzilla have sent us. You can see, man, I'll tell you what, you get this time of year when things get busy, <laughs> they daggum sure know they can mess up a box, man. I recently uh, ordered a battery for the Speed Triple, and when I got the darn thing, it was an empty box with a hole in the end of it where the battery had fallen out in a truck somewhere. Look at that, or somebody got them a new battery, I don't know. Ooh, very nice. First things first. This right here, this is a pair of Alpine Stars GP Pro gloves in extra large. These are for my son. We want to make sure they are the right size, so we're going to go ahead and pull these out and make sure. It says they are XL, but we're going to do a little double checking. Yes, 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 these are XLs. So, looking good. Looking good. I have this exact pair of gloves. We're going to be doing a review on these very soon. I've got a lot of experience with these gloves. They are a phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal pair of gloves. I'm just going to say they are top of the line. Yes, they are. Perfect. Beautiful. He's going to love those. He is going to love those. Next up, these should be interesting. You know, I've never gotten anything like this before. This is, this is something for a Supermoto track day. It's made by a company uh, called LIAC. I uh, got some goggles by these folks here recently. And this is a type of uh, undergarment, if you will, that you wear under a suit. And it gives you a padded booty and stuff. Now I was told to order the double XL because anything other than that, I was told I wouldn't be able to get myself into. Okay. Could I have gone with the XL? Yeah, I could have. These say they fit a 36 to 38 inch waist. Right now I'm running around a 35. So I could have done the smaller one, but that's those. Got two pair, one for them, one for me. And the last thing, which is what I'm really interested in, get rid of this. Alpine Stars, you're used to that logo around here. Um, this is some boots for our track day. Wow, I'll tell you what, these are a lot heavier duty than I thought they were going to be. So let's see what these bad boys feel like. Hopefully they're the right size. Again, um, I uh, wear a 47 Euro size. So what I have discovered is if I order the Euro size, not the American fitted 12, the, the Euro sizing seems to be, we'll just say, a little more specific in nature. Ooh, tell you what, that's a heavy dude little rascal there. So let's see here. Well, these are gonna look interesting in shorts. Oh, perfect, absolutely perfect. Wow, they are heavy. Um, I was told they were heavy by a buddy of mine that is a racer. I know what you're saying, you're saying, Coach, those are gonna look awfully silly on a can -Am Spider. <laughs> But for anyone who's interested in this type of gear, or just gear in general, because I'm just interested in gear in general, well, those are heavy duty, I like those. And then you just adjust that strap in and out back here. Wow. Man, that is crazy. Woo! Those are heavy duty. That ankle is super duper 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 stiff. Yeah, very nice, very nice. By the way, if you're curious what model these boots are, these are the Alpine Star Tech Threes. These are the basically a lower line of um, 
Alpine Star off-road boots. And I'm gonna tell you, these things are super heavy duty. They look great. The quality is what you would expect from Alpine Star. I don't think they're gonna be very cool in the sense of temperature wise. And it's gonna be very odd riding in something like this because you don't have a lot of ankle flex. I'll take these out on uh, one of my road bikes just to simply see how it will feel because I do want an idea of how it's gonna feel before I get out there and get on a supermoto track. But anyway, stay tuned for the supermoto stuff. A lot of change going on with the channel, a lot of real nuisance stuff going on with the channel. I'm just gonna tell you. Get this stuff out of the way here. I'm just gonna tell you, the channel has been a real challenge and not in the creation side of it. The creation side is, is easy. It's the other side, the business side of it that you don't get to see where you feel like the channel's not really getting Trying to think of a way to put this nicely. Um, I'm having to change some things on the channel because the channel's being crushed. I'm just gonna be honest with you, the channel's being crushed. When I have certain videos that are released on Sundays that I have uh, now created another channel called CB3's Worship on Wheels channel. So be sure and check that channel out. That's where the Worship on Wheels episodes are going to be. The, the videos, when I do the worship on wheels, I can track how these things go. The videos literally get suppressed in the algorithm. And what that means is that the recommendation, when, you, when you're watching a video and that little recommendation down below, when the worship on wheels are posted, the videos get recommended on average 35% less than they normally get recommended. I actually have had people come to me and go, coach, are you not posting anymore? Because they're not even getting notifications. The channel was just being absolutely crushed because of it. And I had a choice to make. It's like, do, you, do, you, do I continue to do this knowing it's going to kill the channel and, and, and compromise in what I really want to do? Dogs are barking. Or I can create an actual Worship on Wheels channel. It would ne the, the idea of Worship on Wheels was never to be lucrative. I would rather create two things, two individual things that I believe both can survive on their own. Let me close this door, these dogs. So it's a major change. You're gonna see this announcement in several videos. So CB3's Worship on Wheels is the new channel. So be sure to check that out before you leave. Make sure you subscribe to this channel, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, go to the other channel, subscribe to it. I'm not gonna monetize it. If you're seeing commercials, that's just because somebody's dumping commercials on there. Will I monetize it in the future? Who knows, I don't know. It just depends on what it looks like and how, where it's going. But I'm gonna do everything I can to make that part grow too. But I think that that's suffering and this is suffering. And I think by separating these two things, I think they can both do better. So there it is, a quick unboxing, not really a review, just an unboxing to let you know new gear is here. So do me a favor, go out by the motorcycle of your dreams, eat right, take care of yourself. And remember, if you're not having fun, you are doing it wrong. Now you go seize the day. I'll see you on the road real soon.